This spot of CSGO already looks bumpy and shiny, so you wouldn't imagine that Counter-Strike 2 could make these things look much better, yet it somehow does. Now it helps that the reflections of stuff, instead of just being white streaks, now seem to represent the room that they're reflecting. The wall, being the bulk of this area, is now significantly less shiny looking, so it's not that Source 2 makes everything more shiny, it's just capable of being much shinier should it need to be. There are the same number of pixels to this sign as there were before, yet the new one shows more detail in the form of duller patches and scratches which mess up the reflection, and even by somehow making the blue material less reflective than the white bits are. Source 1 was unable to combine all these different effects on a single object. And it's also how all this stuff interacts with the improved shadows. These massive curved concrete structures really do it for me, to see that long, intricate edge where light finally meets dark. And this structure seems to be made of a standard concrete material, yet view it under the right conditions and suddenly it'll light up like a Christmas tree. It's all this stuff combined that has helped transform this dated, last gen look of CSGO into something that's now truly beautiful. Thanks for watching this short. See my whole new nuke comparison video by clicking the link here, or subscribe.